we needed a new game cart for our shoot. We wanted something that would have an appearance of being both modern and, and traditional at the same time. It had to not only meet the existing requirements for game handling for food, um, but ideally we wanted something that would exceed them and, and offer a real improvement to the product. You can see the lowest three of five rails there. Each one will take around 20 brace of birds. We empty the trailer at lunchtime, um, but at a push we can get 200 birds on there. Uh, easily copes with what we do on the shoot. We've rejected the traditional green cover and opted for a silver one in the hope of reflecting the heat of the sun. This is the donor trailer that would become our game cart. As you can see, the floor was completely rotten, had to be completely stripped out. All the old nuts and bolts that were holding the old floor down had to be ground off. Uh, there it is cleaned up, ready to go off to the fabricators who built this uh, frame to our specifications. They stripped off the old sides from the trailer and fitted it onto the existing chassis, um, welded it on, a couple of plates were needed. Um, it's made a very, very nice job of it actually. They ground off all the, all the corners and edges and welds and the tail gate can be removed um, on sliders and uh, drop locks to hold it in place in transit. We use TZ Welding based in Knockholt and Kent. Uh, they serve the whole of London. They've done my welding work for a long time. They've made a smashing job of the trailer. I'm really pleased with how it went. Unfortunately, I left it outside once I took it away. And uh, as you can see, I've had to knot wheel the entire case off before applying a zinc rich first primer uh, to inhibit the rust. That's why it's bright yellow. Then once that coat had dried, we then topped it over with some gray primer, two coats. It was coated all the way around. We, we did the underneath as well before finishing it off in a British racing green hammered finish enamel. Uh, ready to complain about the tyres. We get a lot of mud where we are, very wet in the winter. Uh, these aren't going to do it, so we decided to source some new tyres. Flotation tyres, these are 8 inches wide, the originals were 4, so we've doubled the footprint at least. And there they are fitted on. It's going to tow a lot better when we get to midwinter on the chute. Ply lining, we, did, we opted for a phenolic resin board, a good quality one. It's the only stuff that lasts. People say you can use marine ply for trailers. It, it doesn't work. Um, it's more expensive, but this stuff will in the long run work out cheapest. Then applied pipe lagging to all the rails, uh, ready to take the silver cover. As I mentioned earlier, it's a heat reflective cover. It's to keep the, the sun off the birds. It can be, especially early on in the season, very warm. Um, and it just keeps that off. There we are, new mud guards fitted there as well, oh, on both sides, just to stop the mud from flying up and keep it road legal. Uh, there we are, sign writing on the back, got carried away, so we put a little pheasant on there as well just to keep that traditional look. Um, there it is, towed behind the gamekeeper's truck. Thanks for watching.